What's the deal, man? RJ Lamont in the building. And shout out to the motherfucking streets. Love, bro. Yeah. Shout out to the streets, man. We putting on for the whole meeting. Real shit. This is expensive, nigga, and this shit for the streets, nigga. You know what the fuck going on, you hear me? Yeah, shout out for the streets. I appreciate you coming and fuck with you, baby. You already know how that shit go. Wow, oh, shout out to the streets, bro. Man, love, man. Appreciate you. Go follow this nigga, too. I gotta go follow this nigga. Big shout out to the motherfucking for the streets, nigga. That's all we doing it for. We only do it for the streets, you know? Shout out for the streets, man. Tap in. My bad. Go check out my new. My new little homie for the streets, man. AKA Ty. Y'all go check him out. Go check him out on his YouTube. Go check him out on his Instagram. Man, of uh, your future, your life, and make a good decision, dog. Because I'm telling you, ain't nobody gonna pay for it but you. For real talk. You know. Mm -hmm. And we gonna get on. Uh, we gonna challenge him. Up. We got you over here in your zone. You know. What I'm yeah, talking about, man. man. You know, I get, the, I get, the, cause that stuff get. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it. it it's real for me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I was an you idiot. You lived it. Yeah, I was mm -hmm. an idiot, man. And, 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 and threw my life away, you know, on misinformation. Mm -hmm. Thinking this the way. It ain't. What true. a lot of us do. That's yeah. why That's why you so special. Because you tell them, like, yeah. man, it ain't no future in that. There ain't no future <laughs> in it, dog. I but everybody else will come home like, boy, I was a warrior. I was a soldier in there. Man. And I could, that's why I say I could see it in your ass. Yeah. You was really a soldier in there. You know what I'm saying? I know ain't nobody play with you. Because nah. I can look at your ass and be like, nah, I ain't playing with him. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and, and see, and I had to be because I had to survive. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to let these youngest know when you, if you if you mess around and find yourself on the other side of that gate, you're going to have to be too mm -hmm. if you want to survive. And then everybody you, ain't got that in right, though. And that's right. And then you got to ask yourself, do I want to live like that every day? <sighs> every day. Ain't no type of life. 365. Week in, week out, month in, month out, year in, year out, decade in, decade out. And there ain't no breaks. It ain't no timeouts. It ain't no let me catch my breath. Ain't no okay, I'm sorry. Let me, I, I, I wish I, oh, that's dead. Wake up on go mode every you morning. to live like that, bro. And that's too much stress on anybody, bro. Mm -hmm. Anybody. That's why when they ask me that foolishness on my channel, or, or, or would you go back for this amount of money? I wouldn't go back for no amount of money. <laughs> Not at no all. No amount of money. I used up all my reserve to get out of here. Man, for I, real. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, ain't got nothing left. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to talk about it and give it to these youngest to let them know, man, that uh yeah, man, this 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 ain't the life you want, man. I guarantee you whatever life you choose out here will be greater than any life you can have in there. Mm -hmm. Whatever life you choose. I don't care if you choose to be a uh, 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 joker picking up trash on the side of the road. Mm -hmm. I don't care. Whatever life you choose in freedom would be greater than any life in captivity, my bro. Real talk. You know. You kind of said a no better. Now let's yeah. change the note real quick from prison. Your guy Javante Davis, big Ooh. tank. He been knocking him down lately, knocking man. Him down, man. He's a uh, <coughs> certified uh certified killer, man. He, mm -hmm. All he the got that, for sure. <clears throat> yeah, he got that. He got that thing in him that when it come down to it, mm -hmm. he it could cut that switch on. I see it in him like I saw it in um, Sugar Ray Leonard, man. Mm -hmm. Sugar Ray Leonard, you know, the great sugar. Real he got tough. that thing in him, man, where you could see sugar in some some fights and you watch his career and you watch him in fights and you could see that switch click. Mm -hmm. and he just turn up and go to another level. Mm -hmm. And um, they don't a whole lot of fighters got that man. He he he. I see it in Tank man. Tank just got you gonna have to whoop Tank. Yeah, you, you gotta gonna, show him yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gonna have to whoop him, and that's a hard <laughs> task. The real you talk. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man. Um, and shout out to to, to he got a good team too, man. Coach Kenny. Yeah, and, for uh, sure. Coach Calvin, and they you know they took him under his wing while he was young, man. And um, they gave him some good game, man. And he using it to the to the, to the fullest of his mm -hmm. ability, man. Definitely doing yeah, his work. Sure. Now, where you think he gonna fall all time after if he keep up this type of work in the ring? You think he'd be top ten all time if he keep up this level if of he, fighting? If he stay on the level that he on, and he um, you know, knock down a couple of more foes that's in his way, mm -hmm. um, and he do it in the fashion that he been doing it in. Oh yeah, he he'll slide in the top ten Guaranteed. because of the way he done done it. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? 
he done did it like the big boys do it. That's yeah, what that's boxing. That's why I say I I like his career because he right. it's like an old school career, old school but we watch it at the new time. Yeah, they want to see knockouts, man. Mm -hmm. When you really break it down, prison just want to see. I mean, uh. Uh, boxing just want to see knockouts. Right, That's what so. they want to see. Mm -hmm. And usually they see that with the heavyweights. So <clears throat> when you can see that with a young dude and a small dude, you know, that's why they that's why they're in love with NOA. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Anybody that's a knockout artist and you winning, you know, they they're gonna love you, man. They got to. They're gonna mm -hmm. love you. And, and he on a, he on a good path. That's his that's his uh calling man and he's still young. And I like the fact that he um, changed his whole family legacy. You know what Man, I'm saying? Real he talk. Come from, you know, poverty. Uh, yeah, he come from poverty. He come from, you know, drug addiction in his family. Mm -hmm. um, everything, man. He changed that, man. And I like what he doing with his community. He went back out there, man, and he bought a couple of projects. Mm -hmm. And he rebuilding them up for the community. Oh, yeah, that's so hard. So he going to be blessed, man. Yeah, he going to yeah, be blessed, sure, man. that's hard. When you, when, you, when you, you know, live and don't think selfishly, you will be blessed, man. Giving back to where he yeah, came yeah, from, yeah, all that. And, 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 and you leave and you leave your name here for your family and everybody when you long gone. Mm -hmm. that, that That's something that can't be erased. Guaranteed. Solidified. Yeah, that mm -hmm. can't be erased, man. So that that's a beautiful thing he's doing, man. And, that's man, up. shout out to Roy Jones Jr. too, man. I chopped it up with him. Oh, man. Yeah, I chopped that's it up hard. with Roy Jones Jr., man. Real good dude, man. Um, I'm hoping that I get an interview with him soon. You think you could take him? Roy? Yeah. Now? Maybe. He back, been there back, back in the day, day dog. Nah. He was out. He nah. was out there. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about right there. Oh, right now. Right yeah, now. Right now. Yeah, yeah. He be in the fight of his life right now. <laughs> he be in the fight of his life right now. We probably, I think we may be around the same age. Oh, okay, but, yeah. yeah. But back then, Oh man, he was one of a kind, special dog. I grew up watching Roy Jones Jr. Yeah, get it in. Top I remember, right I now. remember seeing him throw like six jabs straight. Yeah, he did it. It looked yeah. like two. I'm like, oh my goodness, yeah. he out cold. Top ten right now, dead or alive, man. He, he he had a ten year run that's unlike anybody else. And that's another thing in boxing. A lot of people look at, um, you know, they, they always see the last. They don't even see what got you there. Mm -hmm. you see what I'm saying? Just like when we see a, 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 a rich rapper or a movie star or. Or, or, or NFL player or NBA player, we see where they at. We mm -hmm. see how they got there. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's what happens when in sports, once Roy, you know, career is over, that's what they see the last. They don't mm -hmm. even see what he did to get there, man. They don't even see why his name ring bells. They don't even see why everybody say you must have forgot. Right. Just like his mm -hmm. song. But Roy was one of the best that ever did it, man. One of the most gifted, talented, uh, Prolific boxers in the history of the world, dog. No, nah, real talk. Yeah, real so. talk. You, you ain't gonna see no more like him. No, nah, not no time <laughs> soon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If another one come like that, we won't be here. Oh, yeah, I ain't gonna be at the hot time. Yeah, we ain't gonna be here to see it. Now, you got to go back home since you've been home, meaning visiting D.C. And did you go somewhere, do or eat anything that brought back some memories while you was out there? Of course, of course. Yeah, I went back home a couple of times, several times, man. And stay, you know, been with my family. Mm -hmm. um, went to my old neighborhood. It was gentrified now. Though, oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, they that doing, was, that they was doing it everywhere. Yeah, that was hurtful. But, um, yeah, man, and I ate good old food out there, man. Chicken and mambo sauce. And, you know, that just, mambo, I'm cold. Yeah, just being in certain places brought back a whole lot of nostalgia, man. Um, mm -hmm. Love it, man. I love it out there, man. And uh, I wish I could get out there even more often, man. Right now, too, still same fight, different round, still rumbling with these uh, parole people, man. So oh, yeah, still it. move with restrictions. Mm -hmm. you know? Gonna get it together sooner yeah, than sure. later. For sure. Now I gotta ask this one, man. He one of my favorite folks to watch amongst yourself. You know what I'm saying? You had the pleasure to sit down and interview Charleston White, man. Yeah. Fire interview too. Yeah. Now before we before we talk about the interview. I seen a video of y'all eating out at lunch. Right. And, and, a, and a dude came in there acting a fool on you. And I could see it in your eyes. You be like, yeah. wait, but I bring that foolishness to this side yeah. of that table? I, did, did, yeah. that, did that situation right there make you almost jump back in? The, you know what I'm saying? Or was you just chilling? Was you chilling right there? Oh, yeah. If y'all heard, if you heard audio, you would have heard what I said. He was, he, he kept running his mouth. Then he got behind me. Mm -hmm. and he was steady running his mouth to them. So if you, if you go back and look at it, I turn around like this and look at him because I don't know what made you go stand right behind me. Mm -hmm. So when I turn around and look at him, I said, man, you can, you can get that from behind me, man. You didn't move around. Man. You know what I'm saying? So that's Real what talk. I was telling him because he was actually playing with fire because 
Um, shout out to Charleston White, man. And real Dewberry, real and tough. Whole crew. He don't but, play no games, man. They don't play no games, man. Um, <laughs> and um, let me see how they say it. Uh, how my old head used to say it in the penitentiary. And they were strapped like a Georgia ham. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, he was he was really playing with fight. And then they was they they was really being cool with him at first because he came looking for drama. He came mm -hmm. looking for a viral moment. The man on the phone, there's 12, 14 people in there eating, man. And you gonna come over there with two phones and put them in the man's face and tell him about talking about Black Lives Matter. And they was trying to tell him the man on the phone, first of all, handling business. Second of all, he don't do no interviews. Um, if he, he said, well, it's about Black Lives Matter. It's about Black Lives Matter. They told him, man, said, well, I don't care what it's about, man. He ain't doing no interviews right now. Mm -hmm. Plus, he charged 15000 for 30 minutes. You got 15000 you can talk to him. He said, oh, so he gonna charge me to talk about it? He said, bro, could you leave? We trying to eat breath. Mm -hmm. Then Charleston engaged. He got on the phone. Said, hey, man, the man told you I ain't doing no interview. Go ahead on. Then he started popping off. I'd been with him for two days the day before uh, and that day. So, um, man, he, uh, hey, I, I ain't got nothing but respect for him, man, for a lot of reasons. Number one, I never saw any parts of what y'all see on the internet mm -hmm. while he was in my presence. I never saw parts of that. Went to his uh, comedy show. He was nothing but, uh, you know. Um, I ain't gonna lie, he hilarious. Man, he hilarious. From the internet to the comedy, <laughs> he hilarious, his man. His show was funny. He was, uh, he was uh, man, a great, a great uh, host. He brought me backstage. I was backstage mm -hmm. with him. Um, we, we left there. We went to the club. He got a section. We had fun. We ate good food. We chopped mm -hmm. it up. We kicked it in the hotel. I mean, the dude, the dude, man, and, and all for all of the people that were saying that um, he this, he that, they going to do this and do that to him. I'm going to tell you the whole time I was with everybody pulled up to him on the autograph. Sure, wanted, stay to up, wanted to take a picture. Mm -hmm. Man, the man was courteous to all the kids he ran across. He talked to them, gave a couple of money, mm -hmm. uh, took pictures with them. Um, uh, he answered all women as ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. No, ma'am. Yes, sir. No, sir. To That's the why I said he a stand-up individual. Yeah, People man. just can't see past the persona. He, right. he tell you, like, I'm faking on line. I'm here faking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. they still ain't. I'm yeah, like, man. Still, <laughs> right. But, I, I, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, his mind, man. When we did the interview, I told him off the top before we started the interview. I said, man, I want the real Charles White. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think he respected the fact that I had been locked up so long. And then my partner at the time, uh, Catch Mo, was mm -hmm. doing the podcast with me. He... Had been locked up to 20 some 27 years mm -hmm. so he respected that because of the simple fact that he had a brother at the time they were locked up, for 31. Locked up 30 yeah see what yeah. i'm saying at the time so i think that put him in the mind of man yo you know i can feel this what y'all been through and then y'all out here and you made it out and you doing trying to do something good mm -hmm. i think he he resonated with that i think that's what he really is into yeah, but the, sure. the internet will draw you into the other stuff mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying and then when you couple in and making money with all the other stuff then it's, that's what he gonna do yeah, for you sure. know what I'm saying because you, you, you presented that to him you you, mm -hmm. you gave him that, that, that vehicle to make money and that's what he do but I think he be serious about trying to help them kids I think he be serious about trying to educate I definitely think he's smarter than we all know. Mm -hmm. You know, he well read. He he's smart, man. He a smart dude. He man. drop game. He get game every time all I hear time. him. Even when he's speaking some BS, if you listen to him for real, right. like, he dropping game the whole time. All the time. And on top of that too, he um, you know, he charged for his interviews. Like I said, mm -hmm. man, the, 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 fifteen thousand. The, the Joker said straight up, and he said, man, listen, bro. When we, we left that night, we left the club, he said, man, listen, man, we supposed to catch the plane tomorrow. He said, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell my team we coming to the studio in the morning. We're going to do that interview. And, uh, man, y'all don't owe me nothing. And he came, to, he came to our studio to do the interview. I ain't charged nothing at all. Uh, at all, though. Yeah, you know really. what I'm saying? On the strength of his 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 word. Mm -hmm. So I, I got nothing but respect for him, my dude. Nothing you can't do nothing but respect a man that keep his word. Real yeah, talk. nothing but respect for him, man. At the time that he was, you know, guaranteed this type of money to sit down with anybody. Mm -hmm. And he took his time out and he did it for free. And I know better than anybody, time is the most valuable commodity on earth. Sure. You know what I'm saying? You can't really put no price on it. And he gave that away, man. Just, mm -hmm. to, you know, to... To be in the um in the podcast, man. So shout out to Charles. Man, boy, big man. salute to Charleston yeah, for, for sure. sure. For sure.
from Bro Man on the Fifth Floor to Scarface yeah. to Sada Baby to Michael Collier to King Push, you know what I'm saying? Shout out Pusha T. You've been Shout able to reach, you've been able to reach some notable folks, you know what I'm saying? What yeah. a building these high profile relationships mean to you after not knowing if you ever see the light of day, you know what I'm saying? After that 33 in the penitentiary. Man, it meant a lot, man. It just meant that, you know, when you in the penitentiary, don't nobody care nothing about what you got to say, no matter what it's about. Mm -hmm. So to, you know, do 33 years and get out here and just catch the ear of important people, mm -hmm. um, prominent people, um, and they, they, you know, they want to listen to what you got to say. It's crazy, man. And um, shout out to, to, to two of the... Uh, Biggest people in the music business, man, that, that, that also have became two two of my best friends out here for sure. Mm -hmm. And that's Chris Turner. He's the head of or A and R of Capital Records. Oh man, and, shout um, out to yeah, him. He, he he found a lot of talent that y'all know of today. Uh, Yellow Beezy being one, mm -hmm. Tootsie being the other, Doce being one. Um and, and then you got Wayno, the A and R of Q C. Okay, uh, yeah, my, my brother is well. I heard well. of Wayno, yeah. Yeah, my brother as well, you know, bought y'all a little Uzi Bird, I think Jack mm -hmm. Hollow, Ice Vizo. Yeah, these two of my these two of my brothers, man, that I chop it up with on a regular that I really uh respect, man, and we really built a bond and a friendship. Um so yeah, man, and, and shout out to Push, man. When Push came to do the interview with us, man, Push uh, promised that he would do the interview to an unknown podcast. We didn't even have a thousand subscribers at the time. He promised he'd do the interview. He said, "Y'all from Virginia? I'm yeah. rocking with you." He said, "He That's said, real he, said love. he would do it," and that was, and he was two months out from saying he would do it just on his word. Mm -hmm. You understand? And two months later, he was solid to his word. He showed up on time. He pulled up Dolo. He gave hours of his time and sit down, and, and he said the floor is open. Talk about whatever y'all want to talk about. So uh, shout out to Push, man. Real dude, real, man, real solid dude, man. Real talk, yeah. salute to him for sure. Now, what inspired the Morning Mud lives that you started dropping on? What was it about probably like a year ago, a year and a half yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, in the penitentiary, man. You know, we call we call uh, coffee mud, mm -hmm. and um, you know, when you wake up in the morning, you gonna see. Uh, a thousand jokers drinking coffee, you know, and, <laughs> talking mess, uh, talking mess. <laughs> so, you know, then you got Keith, one of my old cell partners. We call him Coffee Keith because he just lived for coffee. He loved coffee, he loved coffee more mm -hmm. than he loved food. You had some stories on yeah, 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 yeah. He was a little do anything for that coffee. Anything, but he'll trade you his trade for that coffee, man. He just loved coffee like that. And um, I just started doing this show in the morning, man. I said call it the morning mud because I just said it started going live in the morning. Mm -hmm. So I call it the morning mud and owe the keep and, you know, the penitentiary. That's what we do in the morning, man. We mm -hmm. wake up, we drink coffee, and we wish we was on the street. Man, you know? real talk. And we talk about wishing we was on the street. Mm -hmm. What we be doing when we was on the street. What's going on on the right, street? Right, real talk. So, you know, with that, with that just being... just took that element and yeah. I talk about what's going on in talk the world. Talk about what's going on in the world right now, that's man. That's real, so, that's real. Yeah, so, you know, that the... the, the, the uh, the, the, the underlying statement in that is we in the penitentiary talking about what's going on on the street. Mm -hmm. So if you're on the street, you ain't never got to worry about what's going on on the street. <laughs> <laughs> Out here. Yeah, stay mm -hmm. free, man. Stay gotta free. stay free. For stay sure. blessed. Now, I'm not sure if you know, Unc, I, I, I'm, I'm, I know I can't be the only person about to tell you this, but your spirit contagious, man. Like, it'd be some mornings I wake up feeling irritated or just off balance, you know what I'm saying? Cut that morning mud on for 15 minutes or the video you made last night if I ain't catch it. And my whole day it just seemed to go a little better from there, you know what I'm saying? And that's a real yeah. gift, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. not everybody able to, you know what I'm saying? Change a whole person mood up like that, you know what I'm saying? That, man. They can with negativity, but they right. not usually able to with positivity. Right, you dig right. what I'm talking about? And that's what we about, man. We about you know feed the positive, stop the negative, man. Mm -hmm. And that's what I want to be, man. To everybody who come across uh, my path, man, I want to be, you know, uh, you know, some type of positive energy, man, where you can say and look at me and say, man, you know. Man, this dude, you know, did 33 years straight, man, 12,365 plus consecutive days, and um, yet he 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 ain't broken, mm -hmm. he ain't he ain't bitter, you know, and he motivated. He more happy than anybody else you know out here right now. Because yeah, I'm out here, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, and, and that's what I want people to get when they come across me, man. And, and just like you say that, 
like I give you that energy in the morning, man. Y'all don't realize when I get on that morning mud, man, and, and I get one of them comments or somebody coming there like this morning, somebody came in and said, hey, bro, I ain't even never been in trouble before, nothing. He said, but I listen to you, man, and, and, and I know that I ain't going to never be in trouble and to keep me, you know, mm -hmm. grounded. Keep me on that path. Yeah, yeah. yeah. stuff like that changed change my, you know what I'm saying, because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm human. I be down sometimes. I be like, boom, I be under pressure, this, that, and the third. But man, when I get them that feedback, man, that's why I always say, talk to me, I talk back. Real when talk. I get that feedback, just like nephew, you know what I'm saying out there just now. Mm -hmm. To see nephew still, you know, light up when he see me and he throwing yeah. them punches. And you know, mm -hmm. I see that and now I'm be looking for him to be, you know, his progression yeah, and all he that. He gonna grow right. you know, It ain't no doubt in my mind. So that type of stuff motivates me, man. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? You know, so yeah, man, uh, I, I definitely appreciate it, man. You know, you coming to see me, bro, that motivate me, man, you know. And um, I, I appreciate what you doing out there, man, in your city, man, trying to get these stories out there, trying to stay positive, man, mm -hmm. feeding your family, man, and doing your thing, man. That's admirable, man. And Real talk. Young, man, so you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You living in Brooklyn, I used to, man. when I was 21, I worked in the prison, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. I, I'd have had so many convos in there with, with, yeah. with younger guys, and I'm like, man, y'all boys retarded, man. Yeah. Then yeah. when I get out, then when I I get older and see a guy like I'm like, why well, I couldn't run across him in there? Right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, like, right, right. Some of them it take a progression, man, for them to get to that point. Some of them never do. Some mm -hmm. of them never do. But you know, um, yeah, man, I, 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 I'm just blessed, man. I'm blessed, man. I ain't, like, I'm blessed, dog. Any last words of wisdom you want to get the folks that's watching? Yeah, man. Just, just try to make every day, man, your best day because you don't never know how many days you got on this joint, man. And, you know, I read a lot of philosophy, man, and there's a lot of things, quotes and stuff that stick with me. But I heard one recently, man, that's just been chiming and bringing in my head a lot, man. And it says, you know, I think it relates to me and it relates probably to a lot of other people. But it said, man, the same people that will pray on your downfall, you know, God will lift you up in front of them same people. Mm -hmm. In Real front talk. of them same people. So the people that look down on you, man, God will pick you up right in front of those people. All you got to do is just stay focused, man. Mm -hmm. Whatever you want to do, man, just be locked in on what you want to do and care nothing about what nobody else thinks. Just be locked in on what you want to do. And I promise you, man, nine out of them ten times, man, you will succeed. And the one time you don't, that when you try it again. Get back up, real try talk. Try again, you know what I'm saying? But mm -hmm. I appreciate you, nephew. I appreciate the family pulling up on me, man. Mm, it's all love, all the time. You're always welcome. Man, TBP Nation, y'all go follow for the streets. This is family, this nephew, man. Um, Second time he done pulled up on me, all the way from another state. So it ain't no excuse if y'all want to pull up on me. I'm always available, man. TBP Nation, man. Y'all stand up, be safe, be smart, make good decisions. And always duck them hooks, man. Gotta duck them. Mm -hmm. Hundred thousand YouTube subs, eighteen K Instagram subs, and we still growing, baby. Y'all tap in with Big Unc, Becky Pound on. What platforms you on? I know you on Instagram, I'm on, Facebook. I'm on, I'm on Facebook. I'm on TikTok. I ain't on there as much, but I'm on there. Mm -hmm. I got pure deliciousness, Becky Pound. Oh yeah, and shout out to uh, J Hardcore, man. We got another podcast. We got a podcast getting ready to come out called J. Uh, Banky and Jay Boxing Podcast, man. We oh, will yeah. just be talking strictly boxing. Mm -hmm. That's up and running already. It's, it's on YouTube. So, man, check me out anywhere, man. I'm on Instagram every day. I go live every day on uh, the morning mud. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we go in the evening. Man, we out here, man. We out here. Yeah, every out which here. way. Check him out on all of them. You hear me? Appreciate yeah. you for life, huh? Already same here, man. Love. Salute.